To the other side is through the wilderness. And there's a sample adventure. Oh no, really? The following sample adventure may not be suitable for all gaming groups. Oh, here we go. This is going to be awesome. Or it's not. Uh, nonetheless, it's been included so that the game may be played and explored. Campaign of the Lost Souls Each adventure lives in a small hamlet. One morning they are routinely selected by the hamlet to gather firewood. Just happen to be selected. I don't know if that's really how hamlets did things, but okay. Hours later the group returns and discovers that everyone is missing. Uh, the characters must unite and investigate the disappearance of their families for more for immoral purposes a sorcerer has cast mass teleportation and kidnapped the inhabitants of each hamlet okay so the characters are in different hamlets but they are with each other I what okay um, he must not be defeated at the end of the adventure because no what otherwise the sorcerer may be de be defeated at the end of the adventure what uh, okay it is easy to continually make the sorcerer seem one step ahead oh okay they're trying to make him a recurring villain why didn't he just say that no one knows um, box text should be read and okay preparation you need the character sheets with a thousand worthless things written on it and a billion blank lines and boxes uh, explanation of each character living in each hamlet different dispositions respond differently to the plot and we don't care about that Invent a basic description of the Hamlet that complements the group of characters. Why didn't you do that? You included the sample adventure. Third, basic characters. Why would you not just include pre-generated characters? Okay. Well, anyway. The population of a Hamlet is not over 100. And all the families are human. See, he, he pre-generated everything. Why wouldn't you... Uh, okay. The name of the hamlet is Acedia, comprised of six families. Population is roughly 50... Well, he... Well, he is... He, uh, okay, so... Uh, the wind irritates you. Hamlet is merely, is merely a community... So there is just one hamlet. Well, make up your mind. Uh, your family today venture forth. Um, you return as a group with more than enough firewood. You hear only silence as your group explores your hamlet. Each of you enter the main house of your family to find it empty or abandoned. I guess you get to decide if it's empty or abandoned. What? You congregate together in the middle of the hamlet, surprised to be alone and introduce information specifically to the Hamlet uh, explain to each character why their player each player why their character has not extensively explored beyond the Hamlet okay and why is that um, each family should be poor and have little of value uh, clues uh, a set of tracks from a horse suggest a horse walked into the hamlet. All right, let's get right back into this. I'm curious as to see just what kind of quality this adventure is. Uh, uh, the truth uh, behind the disappearance of the inhabitants. Uh, one set of tracks from a horse. Uh, the horse tracks are recent just a few minutes old 
Steaming horse defecation is in the middle of the hamlet. All right, that is descriptive. Not necessarily disgusting, that's realistic. The prized weapon of the hamlet, a goring zwehander, plus six. That's not terribly immersive. Has been stolen from one of the cottages, and its place is a rusted and nicked zwehander. If you're going to steal it, why would you leave a crappy one? Why wouldn't you just take it? Why would it matter? No other tracks exist, indicating nobody walked out of the hamlet. Um, at sunset, read the following. A uh, campfire can be seen to the south. Judging by the smoke, it does not appear to be more than a few hundred feet in the distance. When the adventurers get close enough, uh, the campfire casts light on a horse tied to a nearby tree. Humanoid figures asleep by the fire, covered by a wool blanket. Uh, Mord Morde Mordakicus, Mordakicus, the mutilator, an experienced mercenary employed by Simua to slay any remaining inhabitants of the hamlet. He wrote to the hamlet and found no one. He did find the prized weapon of the hamlet. Uh, he replaced his old Zwehander with that one, but has not yet discovered its magical properties. So he didn't even know it was magic. Hmm. Uh, he sleeps and plans to continue south. He only hopes the characters... Uh, the only hope... He is the only hopes the characters have of discovering the whereabouts of their families and the sorcerer that abducted them. Okay. And there's all his stats. Oh my god. He's 22. He's a hetero. Brown eyes and brunette hair and thick thickness and most attractive features is his chest and most repulsive is his hands and he's a level 3 mercenary and his strength is 182 and it Oh, Jesus, really? Can you imagine a stat block for every creature like this? His drive's 103, and his common sense is 73, and here's his disposition. is uh, neutral, immoral, I think. He's common. There's his Zwehander. He's got a chainmail hauberk, and he's carrying three gold and 24 silver and four... Oh, God. Okay, wait, are you, were you supposed to fight him? Uh, it doesn't say, or did, were you supposed to get information from him? It doesn't, it doesn't say anything about that. It just goes on to combat difficult. Okay, that's not particularly helpful. As you progress through the forest, you happen upon an earthen aperture or opening at the base of what appears to be a small wooden hill, wooded hill. Due to the trees overhead, no snow is on the ground near the opening. I didn't know there was snow anyway. Okay. The hole is approximately 10 feet in height and 8 in width. The opening is not man-made, but appears to exist naturally. Peering in, you see only darkness. Inside the cave is a troll. Alright. That sounds dangerous. Who has recently kidnapped a maiden. Oh, God. I feel bile building up. Um, They may find tracks, though they won't be obvious. The maiden's name is... Really? The maiden's name is Cuntrina? Contrina. Well, up until this point, I had some hopes for the adventure. It seemed to be written fairly well until the maiden's name was Contrina. I will continue to see where he's going with this. I think I know, but I might be surprised in a good way. 
unlikely, but we'll see. Uh, she was originally abducted by a villain after she insulted him. However, the troll happened to cross the villain and slew him. Okay. How does that help us? Kidnapping the maiden. Uh, she knows the sorcerer responsible. His name is Semua. And he used to take advantage of her until a dashing prince took her away from all of it. Well, okay, and the dashing prince is where now? She was forced to perform every debaucherous act imaginable for Semua. Okay. Troll stats. Height 12 foot. Weight 2,000 pounds. Wow, he weighs like a car. Age question mark. He's also a hetero because sure you need to make sure that we don't have any of those gay trolls. Uh, and his m most attractive features chest. Oh, does that matter on a troll? I guess if you got other trolls. He's green and his health is 300 and his vocals 150 and his rhetorical is 5. Oh my god. Katrina. Her sexuality is hetero. And hair. And her most attractive feature. Why do they even have this? Everybody's most attractive feature is their chest. Her most repulsive feature is her feet. Her level. She's a level one laundress. Okay. Now where's her cup size and her vaginal depth for potential and all this uh, the adventures happen upon a keep and oh, wait what so what is she, how what does she fit in is she do they just free her and the oh, okay well conclusion the adventures happen upon a keep in the middle of the forest uh, I guess you you're just to assume that you free her after getting the information from the wiki wacky the guy that kidnapped everybody knows about the wizard and then I guess you kill him by the campfire. I, it doesn't say anything about it at all. So that's real helpful. Um, you see a large clearing a quarter mile across. Uh, carcass of an animal litters a clearing. Smoke rises from it. The abhorred smell of burning tissue. Uh, the keep has no entrance, uh, four walls. Uh, this is the home of Semua. Of course, you don't tell the players that. Um, it may be accessed by a thick wooden door. Uh, the courtyard is littered with the bodies of the inhabitants of several hamlets. Uh, this Semua has a magical dagger of soul stealing plus 63. Wow. That seems high. It has 521 souls. Do are those like frequent flyer miles? Can you trade them in for something? He knows that if the dagger collects a thousand, he may be granted godhood. Yeah, I guess you do. I guess you do tra tra uh, trade those in. Hmm. That 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 beats frequent flyer miles. Uh, he paid to have the keep construct around his home and he casts mass teleportation to abduct humanoids who will serve as fresh souls uh, their bodies litter the courtyard uh, he probably should do something about that that's not very sanitary and he could get the plague oh he, he's continually lighting bonfires and burning bodies okay he is vomiting due to severe intoxication and he's been repeating the lyrics of his favorite song and I can <laughs> I can only hear this in the voice of the guy that sings the fatal theme song in that blah, 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 blah. cause and effect carve and dissect by trial and error I experiment I chop up the bodies and then I reject those who are an impediment to my research, the secret of a golem I want, for I shall make a hoard, the secrets discovered, it cannot be bought, and I will never be bored. Oh, he's awful. With my research, 
Stop shaking and crying and lie still for now, or you will die much faster. I am not evil, I'm good, and here's how. Just listen to my laughter. You're my research. That's like the worst haiku slash Justin Bieber lyric ever. Uh, he continues to repeat these lyrics when the adventurers enter the courtyard. Um, or he may be absent while gathering ingredients if the main master desires to extend the plot. Uh, his foremost concern will be to slay whoever he happens upon and collect our souls. Okay. Reasonable. He will cast mass bidding and then he will attack anybody unaffected with his magical dagger and command those who are affected to help him attack those who are unaffected. If an affected character seems likely to do a killing blow to an unaffected character and if the unaffected character seems physically stronger than Samua then he is likely to command them to stop attacking so that his magical dagger has a chance to collect the soul of the unaffected character. Once he has eliminated all unaffected characters he will slay each affected character who seems physically stronger than... Okay, I, I understand. Um, so, okay. And here's his stats. And he's also a hetero. I wonder if his most attractive feature... Oh, eyes, actually. Okay. And here's his spells known. And... Really? That, that, that's it? That was the whole thing? You just... You find him and and it doesn't say anything about how you get your family back, how you unteleport them from wherever he's got them back to the hamlets. That's it's pretty poor on one hand, but on the other, I guess it is doable. So I guess you could you could actually run that. And they're really, there's really not anything considerably inappropriate in that that you have to tell to the players. So that's really not a horrible adventure. It's not terribly creative, but it's not bad. It's, it would be usable for pretty much any other game that was not fatal. So, hmm, I will be darned. And his spells known include hmm, electrical field and force fear and greater healing and slumber and I was seeing if he has any of those crazy spells, but he actually doesn't seem to. He does not rearrange teeth, oddly enough. He does have seal orifice and spermatozoa rejuvenation. Yeah. Okay. And there's chapter 16 advancement. AP advancement points. I measure how well a character meets the goal of their current occupation. From chapter 7, occupations and group cohesiveness and task performance and insurmountable odds and noteworthy creativity and 10% of their BP may be awarded to that player's character at the MM's discretion and advancing level and training and changing occupations and natural substances and acids and bases hydrochloric acid, nitric, perchloric, phosphoric, sulfuric Bases include lithium hydroxide, lye, and just, uh, why did you, okay. let's see, herbs, or herbs, anemone, uh, angelica, basil, daffodil, fennel, now see this stuff could be really useful for any 
any role playing game, modern or uh, fantasy or medieval, historical, because he gives description, brief but useful descriptions of these herbs, what they would do, what they look like. Rosemary, rue, that's useful. Again, these kind of things buried in this otherwise absolutely tactless, horrendous game. It's just, it's a shame. Valerian, willow, yarrow. And here's the extracted herbs. You can get a decoction, an infusion, a macerate, which is to steep an herb in fat. I did not know that. Oils, ointments, poultices, syrups, tinctures, washes. I bet you didn't know all that, did you? I did, of course, but you didn't. Poisons can be corrosives, irritants, no narcotics, treatments, descriptive terms. And then here's alphabetically, here's all your stuff. I mean, look at this. A conitine, the queen mother of poisons. I wonder if that's real. Arsenic, baneberry, belladonna, bittersweet. Diphtheria is a poison that is destroyed by uh, carries an airborne disease. Is that real? I know what diphtheria is. I didn't know it was considered a poison. There's dysentery. I thought it was an illness. Histamines. I mean, look at this. This is actually pretty impressive. These could be useful in any other game. Spider venom. Wild black cherry. And here's warfare. And I'm just uh, combatants and I'm not size and power forces home advantage leader age I'm not gonna go into this because it looks like a lot of calculation size size and power forces plus home advantage plus leader age plus leader competence plus fortification plus miscellany variable equals bonus per force human force equals 0 plus 10 plus 0 plus 0 equals plus 10 and non-human force 76 plus 0 plus 15 plus 0 equals 91 warfare by unit of time and absolutely not crossbow archers now see this stuff maybe this tells you different types of units shield bearers light cavalry yeah maybe and then here's tactics and councils of war raising an army and here's movement. If you have one movement, you can know what uh, city blocks. And here's wages for 90 days of service. An untrained peasant makes about four gold. That that might be historically close. I don't think so, but uh, I think it would depend on how you translated it. Hills with road is point eighty. Logistics, pillage, plunder, and ransom. Here's how to ransom people. Here's military training. Aerial warfare. That's got to be pretty creative. Uh, there's climb rate, aerial attacks. Naval warfare and tactics. A large boarding plank called a corvus is dropped on the enemy vessel. Naval strategy, fire movement. This guy would be good on Jeopardy. Current strength, sailing, current direction. Wind strength, wind direction. Wind duration. And here's Appendix 1, character sheets. And debauchery and marital status and birth status and vision and most attractive and repulsive features and here's your sub ability for physique and all this nonsense and here's damage and C and J whatever that is. oh that's the clean and jerk that's your lift and the bench lift and the dead lift and here's your bust waist and hips and there's your in 
Vom... Is that your vomit? I didn't remember there being a vomit. Finger movement precision. That is just way too much. And I don't know where the... There it is. Manhood length, circumference, anal circumference potential, vaginal circumference potential, vaginal depth percent, areola diameter, nipple length, cup size, tongue size, hymen resistance. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff right there. Language is spoken, language is read and written, special abilities, equipment. And encumbrance and light load and henchmen, familiars, and slaves. And skills, and they've got them all listed. It's related abilities, our strength and agility for brawling, and comedy, and oh god. I can't feel my lips. And pewter smithing, and pickpocketing pottery, and purse making. Remember detail and uh, spells known because there's just not enough things to fill out. And here's the spell lists. And here's the annihilation. And here's all those things we already covered once. And force inferiority complex and all those other crazy things. And cryoprobe and that kind of nonsense. Level 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I'm going to stop there because this is a chapter all unto itself.